She knew what she had to do, Skip. Went right down and got it. You know, quick layup. Came right back and hit the three. Hit it through. Now, yeah. what's amazing is she says, y'all knew I was going to hit that logo three, for the record. <laughs> now, I want you to know how crazy that is it's pretty when crazy. I think about it. Yeah. We got Caitlin Clark's talking about a logo three like it's a layup. Mm. Like it's a layup. Yeah. Skip, I remember going to basketball games when I was in high school. You know, we played no, basketball. No, well, you were a good player. Right, yeah, we played no. basketball. Yeah. I would go to, you watch, go watch the JV girls play before the varsity girls play. The JV girls, the score was 11-5. The whole game. Got it. The whole game, 11-5. Yeah. And now to see, when you think about the growth there of the game, when, 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 they, when, when the girls were barely mm-hmm. scoring 11 points, 11-5 to five was the mm-hmm. whole score of the game, to what you are watching now, it's amazing. We see girls dunk basketballs. We see they, they're doing everything. The, shooting the basketball like this, it, it's, it, 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 it's just a Steph Curry-like. So it was apropos that you said Steph Curry. Because mm. I started thinking about, you remember when they used to tell us how to shoot those jumpers? Everybody grew up learning how to shoot. Keep your elbows out, arm mm. right here, put it and shoot it. You got to see it and go. And then somebody named Steph Curry came along and said, I won't be able to get the ball off if I do all of those steps and change the game in and now you're, they're barely touching that ball, and that ball is going, and it's going in. And she is doing the same thing. What Steph Curry did for the NBA, because all kids now, the game is played outside in. It used to be played inside out. Big man kick back out. We'll take those jumpers, but they're the last option. They're not the first option. We're working the ball down in the paint. Mm-hmm. Now, with, 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 with these kinds of shooters, we're building offenses outside in because of, man, it's an incre- incredible, that's an incredible accomplishment to see her shoot like that. She stepped across the line and, and just let that ball fly. It, it really is. It's, it's incredible to watch. She's growing the game. The most beautiful thing out of it all, you talked about it. Those stadiums are packed. Packed everywhere she goes. They're packed. Sold out. It's sold yep. out. You know the WNBA is saying, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Even they though she, she they, still has one year of eligibility left yeah. at Iowa if yeah. she so chose. Yeah, and, and, and doing well because they got the NIL money going yes, on they over do. there. Yes, She's they do. on commercials. But, but, but you, you, I see guys like Patrick Mahomes and Steph Curry tweet at her and tweet about her accomplishments. And, and that's apropos because those are generational players. They are. And she's a generational player. Yeah. There's no getting around it. What she is is a generational player. And, and, and I love how you can see the love of the game. You remember how Brett Favre played football? That's how I see her. That's when good. That's basketball. a good analogy. You know what I Agreed. mean? Agreed. Right, right. It's, you love it. You love watching her play. You can see all the work she's put in. And, and wherever she grew up, somewhere just shooting at that little barn basket. But she was hitting him. It was an incredible thing to watch. And just to see the growth of the game. And she's a big part of that. So to your first point about you'd see the JV girls and be 11 to 5. So I grew up in the state of Oklahoma in a time when they still forced women's basketball players to play half court, half court, where you had three on three half court, and then you switched to defense on the other side and played three other girls half court. It was like prehistoric to me. That's no more. But this is revolutionary because for those who don't, quite get it remember the logo she's shooting from is the men's logo she's still it's not it's it's not a women's arena no it's it's where everybody plays right Mm -hmm. so the logo is still the steph logo the dame logo the anybody's logo she shot it from the logo and as you well know and it, she it, called it. It, it, it. She called it. And it she told her right. teammates that there's only one way I'm going to do right. this is with a logo three. <laughs> right. And right. it's it's a pull up where she did a little quick crossover. And, and she's got a hand in her face. The defender stayed right with her and put the hand up because they knew what was coming. And she bombs it home from the logo. It takes rare strength. Steph has rare strength right. to get the ball that far. It's just hard to jump and shoot that ball that far. Mm-hmm. So 
here she is, and she still has a lot of games left to go this year, not to mention the, the postseason games. She does have the year if she did choose to come back. And by the way, I just saw the list come out for the men's college football NIL rankings, and our man Dion's son Shadur is still at the top at 4.2 million, I believe it was, which is quite a bit more. It's almost double what Travis and Arch Manning make Texas and Travis Hunter, obviously at Colorado. But my point is, I, Kaylin Clark is a thing now. She she can generate a lot of bucks. So it, it's possible. It is possible that they could generate enough NIL money for one more year where she could be weighing WNBA money versus right. we talked about this. That it, it's got this way in college men's football that, wait a second, maybe I should just stay here because I can make more here than I can make in my first year in the NFL. So I, I would say there's still a chance. And last night, the crowd's chanting, one more year, right. one more right. year. Why right. wouldn't they? You know? Right. And, and, and to see just the impact that she has on it. I mean, that was it, it, it really was. It was beautiful to see. Now, I, 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 I did wonder when I heard all the one more year, like when you're this kind of an athlete, like you remember, like Steph, Steph talked about getting his game ready for the NBA. When you're this kind of an athlete, all you did was think about challenging the best, you know, challenging the That's best. That's a good point. But, but, yeah. I, but, but we see what she means to that place, that city, that, con that, 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 that team, that, that school. And, and I, I think that, that can be enough to pull her back. But, but, it, but somebody like that, trust me, in her head, she's thinking, I want to challenge the best and see how my game measures right. up. That's how you get that great. So why is Steph Curry, uh, I'm pretty sure you could argue this, but I think he's the most popular player in the NBA. I know LeBron's up there, right. but Steph is more relatable because he's more regular sized. He is six feet, three inches tall. And if he walked in here, you and I would think he was tall. What do you go, six one? I'm about, no, I'm about six, six two. I'm about Are six, you six three? Okay, I was thinking you're six two. Right. Yeah, right. So, right. So, 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 that's yeah. What, so, so we, we, okay. Six three to me is nothing. Okay. To be playing with them trees. That's what I'm there. saying. And but that's why he but, but kids can relate to Steph because he, right. on the court, compared right. to the trees, he looks normal. Right. He looks like right. a regular sized human being. Right. And yet he's doing that to them. And Same. his spirit reads yeah. great. His yeah. spirit reads like he's it the does. nicest dude it, it, in the it world. It does. It's a good way to say it. Right, his spirit right. reads great. It, it's just the nicest dude in the world. And he gets out there and he a, he's an assassin. And he's an he's assassin. He's an assassin. And Caitlin has that in She's her. got she that's has what exactly Dame that. was talking about. She has that exactly. So she is six feet tall, which is not short, short, but it's just medium sized. There are a lot of girls who are playing at 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", now. And yet you can relate to her because she gets to where she's unguardable. She's hard to guard because, as Steph keeps pointing out, it's hard to keep your balance when you are creating threes by yourself. Right. She's she's not right. doing the, the, off the like, like, like Steph runs circles right. around everybody, right. as Reggie Miller used to do. But now Steph can also create on his own, but she often creates on her own with a step back that is just flat out lethal. And we saw James Harden start to, to perfect it. And, and and the master Steph is trying to tell us that's a little more difficult it's just than more coming difficult. off the pick. No, shoot. she's not a catch and shoot shooter, right, right, even right, though they right. do that occasionally. Right, right, but mostly right, right. She, she's just wheeling and dealing. <laughs> and, and once she gets you a little off balance to keep her balance, she's going to step back and launch. And that shot has only come into existence over the last, I don't know, five odd years where all of a sudden it, it almost looks like a travel to me, but it's not. And she, she obviously watched a lot of men's basketball and she said, well, wait a second, I can do that. And once you've got that in your repertoire, you, 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 you're unguardable because she's also rare this way. She's got that Tom Brady, Larry Bird thing going where End to end, she's not the most athletic. She, she's right, not right. a speed demon right. end to end. Right. She, she's not the fastest with the ball in her hand like we see others, you know, who are just blazing right. fast with the Blaze basketball. Levels, angles. Okay, every, but right. she, she is first step quickness. Right. I saw it in Bird. I saw it in Steve Nash. Uh, Brady had some of that going on where there's just that, that little bit of first step, first flash quickness that that translates into 
success where if if you we've been talking about Tom Brady all week, if you put him in, at the combine, he's he, he can't win the combine. Right. You know, he can't do a lot of athletic things. He can't run fast for 40 yards, but he does have a certain foot quickness in the pocket that can create space and a throwing lane. She does, too. And if we could see, I think we have our shots right. last night. I wanted to show you. Certain athletes have that. Yeah. The Patrick Mahomes has. He it. does. Just that does. little stuff okay. right in her, her, her buckets last night. You, you mentioned the first one. So she wheels and spins. That's the first two pointer. She needed eight. What? So there's just that was more catchy. Right, here it is. <laughs> is it just like what? She just pulls up and launch. That's a long way. That's a long shot. And now she's off to the races, and that's off the glass. I mean. And. Look out. If you give her an inch, she'll take a mile on that three. Look, that's ridiculous. That is step length. And there's the step back after a little bump. It, you you yeah. think about oh, it. There you go. And she can play a little bit of defense. And <laughs> listen. But what, if you, you let her on the left side, that, that's her spot there. Yeah. Okay. She fooled them that time. This is some rare shooting ability. Okay. And if you if you overguard her to play her great understanding shot, of the yeah, game, yeah. great understanding she of does. the game, knows how to back door. Yeah. This this is Luca like. That's a good that's another stop good and go, game. stop and go, different rhythm. If you give her just a little quick touch, look out below. Well, I, 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 uh... Career 49. And it's yet, Michael, we're talking about, I, I'm not saying that she's a LeBron-esque generational passer, but she's a very good passer. It's hard, as I mentioned as we opened the show, she had 13 assists among her 49 points. It's, it's hard mentally, who am I? Am I... Am I a scorer or a passer? Well, she's both, and and she can, she can regulate that. She can she, she is feeling the game to where th her teammates feel completely involved because you better be ready because right. you're going to get hit in the face with the basketball if you're not ready. So to get 13 assists while you're having your career high 49 points is about as impressive as you can get from a team point of view. Right. That's interesting that, yeah. that, you, that you see. That there's still places she can grow in Definitely. the passing game yes. and, and, and the understanding of the game. I think a lot of that she will explore more at the next level mm -hmm. than she needs to right here because she's yeah. so dominant right now. I mean, you right last night she looked like she could score whenever she wanted. <laughs> I agree. She made yeah. up her mind that I was going. I'm, I'm going to get this record early. That's why she took the first layup and came back with that first three and then said, logo, I'm going to get this out the way and, and add on to it and do what I need to do. I, at the next level, I think it'll be a little bit more difficult no for doubt. her no because doubt. They, they're going to be challenging her too now. You, you're coming in and every arena she walks in, she's going to bring a fan base yeah. that, that, that a lot of them have been waiting on and working for for quite a while. Yeah. So, so I can, you know, I think she'll meet some real good challenges there when she moves on that next level. Yep. And then maybe think about, I'll develop that even more because now I'm forced to at this level. She, but at she, college level, she gonna do what she wants to do when she yeah. wants to do it. Which is why when she got to the national championship game last year against Angel Reese and LSU, right. That's why. The, the ratings went through the roof. They just yeah. shattered the all-time rating record for that game. And obviously yeah. Angel got the best of her in several ways. Right. And yet, but nice of Angel yeah. right there it to was, drop that did. out. Because she did. She did. What she was saying right here is, listen, this is bigger than both of us and certainly bigger than anything we got. <laughs> it is. This is we're, we're doing this for all the people, all the young ladies that have played before us, that yeah. started the foundation, and all the young ladies that are coming after us. Yeah. It's our time to carry it. And, and they are carrying it well. And that's yeah. what we're talking about. We're starting the show talking about this. You know, <laughs> We're starting the show talking about it. We got another conversation uh, uh, about shooting three. So this, this, it, yeah. it's a Well, we got the other one coming up because on Saturday evening, right. Steph right. 
and Sabrina right. are going to go at it. And yeah. Sabrina is a 45 percent three point shooter in the WNBA. Yeah. And she won their three point shooting contest with a record number of points that eclipsed Steph's record right. in the three point contest. So <laughs> that's also revolutionary. And I give her a good shot of beating Steph. We're going to go back and forth about that well, a little yeah, bit. I can't wait to talk about that. But still, do you think? Caitlin Clark will ever be in that three-point shooting contest at the NBA All-Star Game that's going on this weekend? Uh, you better believe I it. I can't wait to see that, buddy. I can't wait to see that match with her. Yeah, so we go to it. Yeah, yeah. I, I would love that. to see her on Saturday night be able to participate as a three-way right with, with Steph, Sabrina, and her going at right it. Right now. That's three. what yes, I'm that's, saying. Yes. Right now. That yeah. would be, if they threw her in, that would be yeah. incredible. Okay, so there are two other unofficial women's record. There's the Lynette Woodard record because it was pre-NCAA sanctioning and governing women's college basketball. She could pass both of those and could further legitimize her place in history. And then there's the men's record that sits out there, the college men's record. And that's by my favorite player when I was growing up, Pistol Pete Maravich. Pistol and she Pete. is called Ponytail Pete so because she's got yeah. some of that going on. Now, he was about... he's. A little before your time. I don't know well, if you... I know Pistol Pete, the, man. Yeah. Pistol Pete was the master, man. He was the early master dribbling that ball everywhere. He was. That's why, yeah. That, was, and that one hand dribble, too, though. That old one. <laughs> Remember the more? He did drills with it. <laughs> that one hand dribble. He, he was unbelievably yeah. gifted for his time. Now, he was about 6'5", but he's shooting those jump shots pre-three-point line, so he's shooting two-point jumpers. He got away with it in college because his father was his coach at LSU. So he could he had the biggest green light, and and yet his record is sitting out there, and because she's got enough games left this year, I believe if she'll stay she's scoring 32 a game, yep, she's right. going to eclipse the men's record. And there have been others who've made runs at it, and it's been offensive to me because I was such a big pistol fan, but I would not be offended if she broke it. Again, it's women's to men, but still, right. I would I would love that. And I think that's coming down the pike pretty soon. I think she's on pace to do that. And, and you know, it's, it's, when I think about it, that is, you know, even staying the extra year and, and just obliterating and getting all the records, all the records she can get, that helps the game. It that does. helps promote and push the game. So, so yeah, maybe, maybe that is the rush. But either way, man, I can't, I can't wait to see her because I can't wait to see her against the best in the world when I'm seeing what she does right here in college. So I can't wait to see her against the best in the world. So you would love to see her go on to the WNBA oh, immediately. Oh. But, 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 but as I said, I, I understand. Every time she steps on the floor in Iowa, you're going to get that kind of call every time she's on TV. And Fox, well, we're going to get those well, kinds of We just of saw ratings. games on Fox where she was at Maryland, then at Penn State, right. and it's just like hanging from the rafters. Right, yeah, right, right. And at the college level, you, man, that's and, – and, and you just mentioned it. Now you're making the kind of money that I, I'm not forced to go. I, I can wait. But either way, either way, it, it, we, we have a gift in watching her. We, we have really, a gift. Have it a is. It's a privilege. Really no, I agree. Gift. And because all those people who tweeted about her, she is resonating. Yeah. yeah. Yes. She moving is the needle. cutting through, moving that needle. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.